Hi and welcome, this is Mark Russell for Sec Governance. This video is going to be about Microsoft Laps, what it is, why you should be using it, and how you can actually go and install it and configure it. If you don't know what Microsoft Laps is, Microsoft Laps is a password management tool from Microsoft. Uh, Laps stands for Microsoft Local Administrator Password Solution. It is a password manager that when it's configured, it is fully integrated into Active Directory and it allows you to configure and manage local administrative passwords securely. It allows you not to no longer have, I guess, unique or dedicated, uh, unique or whatever passwords across the entire estate. It allows you to manage them successfully, put an expiry date in and just put it all in one place. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go through this and we're just going to pretty much show you how to basically set it all up and go there from end to end. It's not going to be too in-depth but it'll give you a good oversight on how to do it and Microsoft does have a lot of documentation which follows it up so you can just go through if you get stuck. So to start we'll just go through. So we're going to go to Microsoft's website here which is microsoft.com EUES download details 46899 I'll put this link in the description so you can just click on it and it'll take you straight here. And then what you need to do is just go down, click on download. Depending upon what version it is, if you've got 64 bit or 86 bit or 32 bit even, select which one you want. Highly recommend you download this L LAPS um, operation guide. This will take you through everything, how to install and configure it. But we're just going to install this bit. So just click next and it's going to save and just uh, open the folder i've already downloaded one so all you need to do is just double click on this hit next because i've already installed it uh, what you just need to do is make sure all these are ticked you don't have to but for ease and just demonstration purposes enable all these click next and then just go through finish and then once that's done, what you're going to have to do now is go into PowerShell. One thing to note here is this PowerShell bit updates the schema in Active Directory. So you're going to have to be a schema admin uh, for Active Directory to install this. So just go to PowerShell. And then what you're going to do is just say import module. Oh, if I could spell. And then adm.pwd.ps. Press enter. If you don't get any error messages, that's great, it's all done. And then from that, you just need to do say update ADM. If I can spell update hyphen ADM password AD schema. Press enter. And again, as long as you get no error messages or anything like that, that is fine. So as you can see here, everything says success, success, success. And that's great. So what you can do now is, just to verify this has all been put in place, if you go to um, Active Directory Uses and Computers, if my VM comes to life, you can go into AD Uses and Computers and then you can just have a look at the attributes just to make sure there is actually something there. So just test lab, um, go into domain computers because I've only got the one machine on this network and then if we go to if I put advanced features on that would help yeah click advanced features just to get all the advanced uh, settings and stuff like that click on a computer of choice and then go to attribute editor and then in this, if you scroll down and look for M MSMC, uh, uh, there we go, MSMCS ADM password and MSMCS ADM password experience, that expiry even, expiration time. That'll tell you that it's all installed properly. And the next thing you can do is actually go into group policy management which is where you actually go and configure LDAPs, uh, L L LAPs even, not LDAPs. So for for this test environment, we only have the one group policy, which is just the default one. 
um, you can either use a new set a new one up or use any other one that you like. But if you go to edit, go to computer configuration, policies, administrative templates, and then you should have the laps there. And you should have the four settings which we have here. So you can go into password settings, say enable, change your complexity to whichever you like, change the password length to what you want, and then the password age to whichever you want. Click on enable, so that's enabled. And then depending upon what you want to do is you can go through all these and just set them all up. So enable local admin password management, you want to say that to yes, so you can actually manage it. And then you can actually say whether or not you want to enable password expiration time longer than the policy, yes or no. And then the name, um, name of the administrator account. If you want to change it from administrator to something else, you can put it in there and change that. And then that's all done as well. Now, we're not going to get too much into configuring it and all that, but what we'd have to do is actually go in to Active Directory Use Computers and just to secure laps and all that, make sure it's nice and safe. The Microsoft document that I showed just before will actually take you through that. But what you can do is, you got your laps UI uh, console there. You can go through, select your computer name, put your password in, change the expiry date, and go from there. And that is pretty much the basics of it. What you need to do though is, for all the computers, you have to actually make sure that the group policy extension is installed. Uh, there's a couple of ways you can do that. You can go through and run this application on all every machine and only install, if I show you here, just this ADM password group policy extension, or you can actually push that extension out, which is just a DLL file, push it out any other way. Microsoft recommend, uh, shows you a couple of ways of doing that in the document again. But yeah, I hope that's uh, informative. What I might do is if there's an, enough uh, interest is actually set another video um, continuing this, just showing you how to actually configure the computers and going from there and just digging into it a little bit more, showing you how to use PowerShell and things like that to get some information about. If you like this video, feel free to like it. Uh, obviously subscribe to us to get more content. We're gonna be pushing more content out as it comes. And I hope you like this video. Uh, leave any comments below and we'll go from there. Right, thanks very much, bye.